To understand how muscle growth occurs, we need to look at the cellular level. Muscle growth, or hypertrophy, occurs when muscle fibers are subjected to mechanical stress, such as that produced during resistance training. This stress triggers a series of cellular responses that ultimately result in an increase in muscle size and strength. One key player in this process is the satellite cell. Satellite cells are specialized muscle stem cells that are activated in response to mechanical stress. These cells play a critical role in muscle repair and growth by fusing with existing muscle fibers and contributing to the synthesis of new muscle protein. Another important mechanism involved in muscle growth is protein synthesis. Resistance training causes microscopic damage to muscle fibers, which triggers the activation of signaling pathways that lead to the synthesis of new muscle protein. This protein synthesis process involves a complex interplay between various hormones, growth factors, and nutrients, particularly dietary protein. Now that we understand the cellular mechanisms involved, let's discuss the factors that contribute to muscle growth. First and foremost, resistance training is the most important stimulus for muscle growth. By subjecting your muscles to progressively heavier loads, you create the mechanical stress needed to trigger hypertrophy. However, resistance training alone isn't enough. Adequate nutrition is also crucial for muscle growth. Specifically, consuming enough protein is essential for providing the building blocks needed for muscle protein synthesis. A good rule of thumb is to aim for at least 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. In addition to protein, consuming a calorie surplus is also important for muscle growth. This means consuming more calories than you burn on a daily basis. This surplus provides the energy needed to fuel muscle growth and repair. Finally, rest and recovery are also critical for muscle growth. Your muscles need time to repair and recover between workouts, so make sure you are allowing sufficient time for rest and recovery. So. How can you optimize your training and nutrition for maximum muscle growth? Here are a few practical tips. Incorporate progressive overload into your training. This means gradually increasing the weight or resistance you're using over time to continue challenging your muscles and stimulating hypertrophy. Consume enough protein. Aim for at least 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight per day and spread your protein intake evenly throughout the day. Consume a calorie surplus. To support muscle growth, you'll need to consume more calories than you burn on a daily basis. However, be careful not to overdo it and gain too much fat in the process. Allow sufficient time for rest and recovery. Make sure you're allowing at least 48 hours between workouts for each muscle group and prioritize getting enough sleep and managing stress.